Hey guys, through here with Naravid for Blender, and this one is going to be interesting. He's going to be talking about new feature, the Mesh Machine, that's actually not released officially. It's an experimental feature, and it's called Offset Cut. So, in 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 order to uh, enable it, you need to go to Mesh Machine Settings, and possibly download the latest version, and make sure that you're going to take this experimental feature here, okay, to True. So. Um, once you do that, you're going to have a new menu. <clears throat> once you do that, you're going to have a new option on the Y menu. So let's grab a, I don't know, cylinder. And let's drop here like, I don't know, 50 verts or something. And then let's gra grab a quad sphere and drop it somewhere here. I'm going to drop just one loop here and that's it. And smooth it out. And then I'm going to select this one, this one, and boolean this with hard ups. So, union. And I'm going to select it and control click on sharpen to apply the boolean. Now, I'm going to grab this edge, go to Y menu, and uh, select it with L select. And now I'm going to click on offset cut. You see, this is a new feature that appeared after we turned on this experimental uh, options. And when you click on this, you'll get something like that. So now you can adjust the width of it. So you can make it, you know, narrower or wider, but look what happens. It's actually eating the verts and the geometry, replacing it with, with quads basically. So this is insane. So now you could create really wide connection here like this. All right, let's just go really deep. Maybe that, maybe that deep, okay? So, somewhere to you know close to to this edge right you can play with different things like for example you could uh, change the uh, the number of this uh, quad series so the factor so i would suggest probably going with something that's close to you know kind of matching matching the geo around right i wish there's also an option to rotate it because if it would be cool if you could rotate it to uh, kind of match uh, this cylinder but you know um, then you got other stuff like you know angle but messing with this usually uh, kind of creates problems because it's like I said it's still experimental so most of these thing things I would just leave at default then you also got the uh, the same options for booleans fast and exact I would stay on exact to be honest it's usually uh, a bit more heavy on performance but more accurate so now let's let's just apply this right and let's grab this edge and simply bevel it with Control B, and now you can see that we're getting this kind of an impossible connection uh, that was you know previously just literally impossible uh, or close to impossible in Blender. Right? Of course, we can remove these uh, uh, these loops to unmark them, and now you got a clean connection here. You could still clean it up a little bit, so you could, for example, you know, select this edge here around. And you could use the uh, boolean cleanup to clean this up. So go to Y menu, boolean cleanup, and you know, kind of clean it up a little bit like this. Okay, and do the same thing in the bottom. Now, in addition to all this, of course, you could do the normal transfer if you wanted to. But we're gonna do something else. You know? We're gonna run sub D on this, which is basically unthinkable before. So Y here, boolean cleanup. Let's connect them, right? And then we're going to press Ctrl 1 and look at this. It's really clean. Uh, you got a little bit, you know, a few, few issues in here, but I guess it's just the way the edges are being connected. Uh, probably need to work a little bit on this, uh, you know, on the connection between the vets somewhere. Maybe something's a bit too close, like here. You see that could cause problems. But other than that, it's really clean. And, uh, you know, shading looks pretty good. If we're going to go to to a mud cap I'm gonna go with the uh, mesh machine mud cap look at this shit man that's pretty incredible so this is you know as close to NURP modeling as you can get I think in blender I think that's what it's heading there's also a new tool being developed called I think hyper bevel which is going to be um, basically slicing stuff uh, with bevels like whichever way you want so this one plus that, you know, this is going to be some serious tool set for creating some incredible, uh, incredible geometry in Blender. Now look at this, this is fucking nuts. Alright guys, well, I hope you enjoyed the vid. Give us a like and sub if you did. 
And uh, if you meet some people telling you that you can't use sub deal lingons, I'll just send them a link, will you? Now, you know, it's not perfect, of course. You see some still some shitting problems here. But like I said, we could just normal tr run the normal transfer um, with Mesh Machine. Or we could use the new patch tool, uh, which is available uh, in Mesh Machine. Mm, okay, quick patch. Uh, but, you know, um, this is not the point of this video. The point of this video was to uh, create this kind of a transition and run a sub D on it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Give us a like and sub if you did. And, of course, links to all the kind, all kinds of add-ons in the video description. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.